Hello, I'm Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of Performance Marketing Insider TV. I'm here today with Dixon Jones from Majestic SEO. Majestic SEO is a tool which you can use to find affiliates, you can use it to find out link patterns, it's the biggest uh, link map that's available. You can use it to find out who's linking to your site and also what links are coming into your site and how to use that to optimize your search engine optimization. Dixon, tell me a little bit more, for those who are unfamiliar with Majestic SEO, what exactly is this? Sure. Well, we're the biggest link map on the planet. So we crawl uh, links from distributed servers all around the world, um, from 100 different locations or so. Um, and uh, instead of keeping all the on-page information like the search engines do, we just keep the link relationships between websites and then you know, users, as you say, use those for all sorts of uh, all sorts of purposes, uh, particularly SEO uh, and also in the affiliate world. So, how are they using this in SEO? Yeah, well, up until recently, I'd say most of them were using it to analyse where the competitors were getting links from, uh, and certainly they're still doing that to work out what's happening to their competitors' links. But interestingly, with the recent Google updates, um, people are now much more likely to come in and have a look at their own link profile, and particularly look at their spammy links, um, and uh, see what may be bringing their, their site down in the rankings as a result of spammy links. And so, for example, I want to develop links to my own site. Um, I look at my competitors, and what am I going to see, and then what actions would I take? How would I make this actionable? Okay, well, in, in SEO terms, um, if you're looking at uh, either your own site's links or, or your backlinks, there's a few different things that you would want to look at. We have a backlink history tool which shows you how you gather links over time or how your competitors have gathered links graphically over time. Um, and there, if you suddenly had a big spike in links, um, then that might be a sign of huge numbers of site-wide links, for example. But the real detail comes in when you say, right, give me all the backlinks to your site.com or this page on your website.com. And, uh, and then it gives you all the backlinks with the anchor text in those links, uh, the text that people have written in there. It gives you the strength of the link, the link as well. So you can really go and drill down and say, right, on my landing page for, um, for performance marketing, uh, as a key phrase, you know, how are people linking to me? What are the kind of sites that are linking to me? How strong are they? Um, are they giving good signals to, to, to the search engines? Uh, and you can really go and see each individual one of them. So that's a pretty good use for, uh, for, for the SEO tools. And, and how much of an investment is this? Mm. Well, actually, for your own site, it's free. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, you just go to MajesticSEO.com and sign up for a free account, and you get all your own information for free. That's on the provider that you can put up a verification file on your website. Um, so if you've got FTP access, then you can get all your information for free. But even if you wanted to pay for it, the, the, um, the subscription starts at £30, which is... Uh, I think $50 or uh, 50 euros, I kind of got the, the, the numbers slightly wrong, but you can buy in three currencies, um, dollars, pounds, and euros. And how does, this, uh, how does this help me find affiliates? Well, the interesting thing is because we've got the whole of the links into any one given website, it means that we also have the, um, the uh, syntax of that link. So finding uh, a competitor's affiliates, for example, it might be slightly more expensive if you suddenly have to go and find all of the backlinks to Trade Doubler for, through Trade Doubler, for example. But uh, if you go to, to large affiliate networks or go to an affiliate program and sign up as an affiliate, you'd find the syntax you have to put in for a link. So you might have to link to the site, question mark, um, MID equals 456 and affiliate ID equals 678 or something like that. Uh, and that might be going through a network, but the MID is your, is your merchant ID number. So if you then search for, filter all of the links by that merchant ID number, then uh, you've got a list of all the links that are affiliate links into the website. As long as they're not hiding the links, obviously. Yeah, certainly. I mean, if somebody wants to hide those through JavaScript or, or, or whatever, uh, then, then of course that will be hidden. And, and we avail robots.txt and that sort of thing as well. So if somebody's really wanted to hide it, then 
we're not going to find that. But we do, uh, we do um, follow 301s and, and redirects. So what's happening in SEO? What are you seeing as, actually I know that you write a lot about SEO, you're deep in that world. What are the things um, as a content publisher that you think I should be aware of at the moment? Where's the, where's the future of this? There's some, some pretty big changes happened on, uh, on Google um, in the last uh, week to 10 days. Um, so I'm not sure how far this goes out, but you know, it's, it's, it's gone out in the, in the very near past. Google has changed around about 3% of its search results. Um, and what it's really trying to do is it's trying to take down really spammy link networks and hugely over-optimized web pages. Now, when this all came out, uh, there's a huge amount of paranoia out there and people sitting there panicking. It's only 3% of search results are affected, and that may mean that only 1 in 10 of those results on that page are affected. So actually, you know, it's not 3% of websites or web pages that are affected by this. You know, it's a much smaller percentage, but it's still quite a lot in, in, uh, in Google terms. Um, and um, so the kind of links that they're trying to, trying to uh, penalize you for are hidden links on pages, really bad site-wide links, um, at really spammy ones um, on unrelated content and pages and that sort of thing. Um, and then on page, when you've done keyword stuffing all over your page and you've mentioned the words, I don't know, um, Viagra 52 times on the page, then the chances are that Google's going to see that where it used to maybe just ignore the first, yeah, after the first four or five times you use the word Viagra, um, now it will probably sit there and say, well, after after you've gone so many times, this is going to start counting against you in your, in your, in your, in your rankings. And I get the feeling that if you hit one of these penalties, then you go over a cliff and you can start really getting hurt on your rankings. There's a quick thing in there that um, if you are registered with Google Webmaster Tools, um, then you would probably be getting an email saying that you've got an unnatural link profile or some kind of warning like that um, coming out of Webmaster Tools. So Google are urging everybody um, that, that uses Webmaster Tools to switch on their auto alerts um, so they can be told of those kind of problems. Excellent, Dixon. As ever, wonderful to speak to you. Very informative. Thank you very much for coming on the show. You're very welcome, Murray. Thanks for the invitation. I'm Murray Newlands, you've been watching Performance Marketing Insider. I'll see you next time.